Okay then gang, so in this lesson, we're gonna talk about something called route parameters. Now, route parameters are a changeable part of a route where the same page component is shown for each variation. For example, we might have a product details page that has a route path of forward slash product and then forward slash some ID or other, where the ID part is changeable. It could be one, it could be two, three, or something like ABC567. And this ID is known as a route parameter because it's part of the route that changes, right? Now for each of those different changeable ID values, we still wanna show the same product details page component and the same template if you like, but we'd also wanna fill that component template with the product associated with whatever the ID is in the URL. Now using React Router, we can access that route parameter both in components using a special React hook and also in loader functions with a parameter that React Router automatically gives to us. So let's see how this works in practice. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is create a new route for the details page, the career details. So let's do that first. We'll say a route, and then again, I'm gonna put this on new lines just so it's more readable. This time, the path is going to be equal to some kind of route parameter. So what I'm gonna do is denote that by saying colon and then ID. And that colon signifies that this is gonna be a changeable part of the route, a route parameter. And then we can capture that when we enter this route, when we enter whatever component is associated with it, okay? So now let's add an element prop. And in fact, we need to create this page first of all. So inside the careers folder, new file, and we'll call this careers, or rather just career details.js. All right, so inside here, let's boilerplate this component. And all I want to do is basically access now inside this component, the route parameter ID. And we can do that using a special hook. And that hook is called use params. So we will say const, and then I'm gonna destructure from this. ID is equal to use params. Click on that, it's gonna auto import it for us. We need to invoke this function as well. So this right here needs to match whatever you've called it over here. If you called this ABC, then you would want to destructure ABC, right? Undo and undo. Okay, so we have this ID parameter right here. And now what we can do is just output it in the template if we wanted to. So let me do a div with a class of career hyphen details. And then inside that, I will just do an H2 and I will output the ID. So ID like so, that's all I'm gonna do for now. So if I was to visit this route now, and we need to associate it first of all, so let me do that career details, this one over here, make sure it imported. Do we have it? Yep, it's right here. I'm gonna put it with the pages though, like so. All right, so now if we visited forward slash careers and then forward slash like one, two, three, four, five, then we would show this component and then we would access the one, two, three, four, five bit using this use params hook. That would be stored inside the ID and we'd output it in the template. So let's just save this for now and see if this works. Okay, so if I go to forward slash careers and then forward slash one, two, three, press enter, then we see the careers details component and we can also see this thing right here. Now, this stuff up here, this is from the careers layout. Remember that's a layout component and it's gonna appear on anything that has this forward slash careers in it. So that stays at the top of the page, but this is the ID from the careers details component right here. Now, as well as being able to access the route parameter inside the component using this hook right here, we can also access it inside loader functions. And we need a loader function for this component in order to fetch the details of a single career and output the details right here. So let's create that loader function first of all. We need to export it. And I'm gonna call this career details loader. All right, let's spell this correctly. Details. So we set that equal to an async function. And inside this function, we want to fetch a single career. Now in order to fetch that single career, we need to know the ID of that single career. Now we can't use this ID right here that we grab from this hook because that's outside the scope of this component, this function, if you like. So we need to just use it inside this function. Unfortunately, React Router DOM gives us access to an argument right here that we can extract that params property from. 
So we can destructure a params property and that contains any wrap parameters. Now we can just say params.id to access the ID parameter or we can destructure it. I could say const ID is equal to params like so. And that's it, we have the ID wrap parameter. And again, this must be the same as whatever you call it over here. So if you called it ABC, we'd extract ABC over here. So now we have that ID, let's fetch that single document. So const response is equal to await fetch. And then I want to grab this endpoint right here, first of all. So paste that in, and then it's gonna be forward slash whatever the ID is. So I can just tack that on at the end. So forward slash, and then the ID, that could be one, two, three, four, etc. And that's gonna fetch that single object. Now we also need to return the response.json right here in order to get access to that data inside the component. And remember the way we do that is by using the hook use loader data. So const, and then I'm gonna call this career, call it what you will, and that's equal to use loader data, like so. Press on that to auto import it up here. And now we have access to this career and we can output it in the DOM. So let's do that. I'm gonna get rid of this and I will say career details, and that's gonna be four, and then we'll output the title, first of all, career.title. I cannot spell today, should be four, not fro, career.title. And then another paragraph tag underneath that is gonna be the starting salary. And that's gonna be career.salary. All right, let's do another paragraph tag for the location. So we'll say location, colon, and then output the career location these are all properties on the career object we get back you can see all that inside the db.json file and then finally let's do a div for the details so div with a class of details and then inside that we'll just output some lorem ipsum because we don't actually have any details there's no details property on any of these objects but probably there would be in real life okay so that should be all working now. We're fetching this data in the loader. We do need to associate this loader though with that route, otherwise nothing's gonna happen. So let's say right here, loader is equal to, and it's called career details loader. Press on this to import it at the top right here. So it's gonna run this function now. Before this is rendered, this career details component, and when we get that data, it's gonna give it to us right here so we can output it in the template, okay? Now there's one more thing I quickly wanted to do before we preview this, and that is to go to the careers page. And you know this link before, we just went to forward slash. Well now, I want it to go to forward slash the ID of whatever the ID of the career is. So it should be forward slash careers, in fact, then forward slash the ID. But in fact, we don't actually need to say to forward slash careers first, because this is inside, if we take a look, this, parent route, so it's automatically added to the route. So we just need to output the ID right here and then it will automatically go to forward slash careers, forward slash the ID. So I can just say curly braces and then career dot ID. Now that's an integer, we need to turn it into a string. So I'm gonna say to string like so to do that. And now it will point to the right page. So let's cross our fingers and preview this in a browser. All right, so I'm on the careers page. I'm just gonna to go to this one, gym leader. And if we click on this, we can see the career details right here. You can see we have the route parameter. So we're obviously using that inside the loader function to fetch the detail for this particular career and everything seems to be working. That's awesome. If we go to another one, tutorial maker, yep, everything is working, cool. Now there's one thing I'd like to do and that's just to add a couple of CSS rules for this page just to make it look a little less crap. So let me just paste in one rule right here for careers details, which is this div right here. And all we're saying is give it a background of black, but this opacity, so it's semi-transparent, means it's gonna look dark blue instead of black. Bit of padding all the way around, border radius, and a margin top and bottom. That's pretty much it. So if we save now and preview, hopefully it should look a little nicer. All right, and in a browser, if we click on one of these, then that looks marginally better at least. Awesome. So that, my friends, is how we can use wrap parameters and access those wrap parameters both in a component and also in loader functions.